My name's Zio, and welcome once again to another Coffee with Zio. This is a more freeform, podcasty sort of thing that we like to do on the channel around this time each month. This is where we discuss the current state of PSO2 New Genesis, along with any recent updates to the game. So this is also where I let you guys know what else I've been up to. So January brought us the winter event. This isn't any different from, say, summer or fall events. And just like before, the weapons are situational at best. Of course, not all the weapons are represented in that series, and it's not going to replace your Grey Gut. Sure as hell is not going to replace your Relic if you're fortunate enough to have one. Relic, I suspect, is going to be top dog for a while, at least until February. That's when we're getting level 40 plus rank 3 Alio and Dark Falls. So this dovetails rather nicely with the title here. A lot of people, myself included, thought for sure that we wouldn't see Dark Falls until the end of 2022. That is, until their most recent live stream. This got me to thinking the other day, what if we're dealing with more than one Dark Falls here? I know it sounds crazy, but it's not without precedent. Every single iteration of PSO2 so far has had more than one Dark Falls. Fantasy Star 4 also had more than one Dark Falls. If you haven't played that one yet, I highly recommend it. Base PSO2 had Luther, Elder, Apprentice, and all them. PSO2S also had a couple Dark Falls variants, even if they were just reskins of the ones from the base game. Idola had two of them, well, technically three, but we'll never see the third one because Idola shut down in Japan the other day. So, what does this mean for NGS besides the developers being like, oh shit, we need more content? I have some ideas here. Maybe each region has their own Dark Falls, like the one we were introduced to at the beginning of the game represents Alio, and there's another one for Ritem, and then two more for the other two regions. It would account for the different versions of dolls that are out there. You know, much like how base PSO2 has different fall spawn representing their respective Dark Falls. This also seems to work with the computer simulation theory that people have. Maybe they were created by some supercomputer based on previous battle data like a mother brain of sorts. Or maybe there's a Dark Falls representing the Formers and the Alters too. But if I had to guess, those two will probably have their own faction bosses. Maybe Manon's a Dark Falls. We still don't know a whole lot about her. Sounds like a bit of a reach, but maybe not. I can see us getting a pretty decent lore dump in the next region. I heard they were adding memory fragments next month that'll give us little tidbits. This comes off as kind of a cop out here. If story isn't going to be such a big thing, then why tie our character progression to it? So February gives us Dark Falls and also gives us Lost Dark. I enjoyed the beta, so I'm definitely picking that up. I'm still on the fence about creating content for it though. I didn't see too many major red flags here, but maybe I wasn't looking hard enough. I know they covered up a number of the more revealing outfits, but that's easily fixed with mods. Monster Hunter Rise came out on PC the other day. I did express interest in that at some point, but between this, Final Fantasy XIV, and now Lost Ark, I don't know. I am most likely going to need another game to create content for. Lore-wise, NGS most likely isn't going to provide enough meat on that bone to allow me to stay within the YouTube algorithm's good graces. I do plan on picking up Rise at some point. I did stream Monster Hunter World a few times in September and I know folks enjoyed watching me stream that. It would be something to play with viewers on stream since I don't play PSO2 Global. Don't trip, I'm not done with PSO2 content. I still need to finish the episode 6 recap. I know people have wanted me to revisit certain characters as well. I mean that well hasn't completely dried up yet. I know there's a ton of community overlap with PSO2, Final Fantasy XIV, and Monster Hunter. I even threw my hat in for that Capcom creator gimmick they were plugging on Twitter, even though I don't really cover any Capcom games here. Let's see, only things of theirs that I really quote unquote covered were the times I played Mega Man X2 and X3 on stream, then Monster Hunter World. As far as lore goes, it sounds interesting, but there's already a number of check marks covering it here on YouTube. Same deal with Final Fantasy XIV. I know some folks would love to see me stream it, especially how much I pop off while fighting Gigantics on stream in PSO2 NGS. Twitch.tv forward slash Zeomantic. You like my little shameless plug there? We talk about these kinds of things there all the time. NGS conspiracy theories, the mental patient shit show that is Western civilization. So if you're into that sort of thing, come on by sometime. We'd love to have you. So now I ask you, the viewer, 
think we'll see more than one falls. If you're playing something else like Monster Hunter Rise, how are you liking it so far? You know how much I love chopping it up with you guys in the comment section and on the streams. Twitch.tv forward slash Zeomantic. Okay, there's that shameless plug again. I usually stream Wednesday and Thursday evenings at around 7 p.m. Pacific. I'd love to see you there sometime. As always, thank you so much for watching and for the continued support. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And remember, to thine own self be true. Until next time, farewell.